Hello everyone. I uh, found this thing out in a paddock. It's a big old steel lifting shackle. And I uh, think I've been reading a bit about perpetual motion holders. I thought I'd have a go at making one and it seemed like a pretty good place to start. I'm just powering it up through by spinning this old washing machine here. Running through a rectifier system there to produce about 50 volts DC. And so I'll put the camera down and I'll show you what you can do with it. Okay, here I've got the link that I'm going to use, which is just a bit of 6 mm mild steel. Not magnetic because I can't pick up a fencing staple. And this here, as you can see it doesn't really stick to it at all. If I hold her up here and give this a bit of a spin, you can feel from it. Right, that something's some work's being done somewhere, and then I'll quickly turn off the power source. You can see that's sticking there pretty well. See, I can sort of disturb it a bit, it's not coming off, but I can pull it off. And the thing is, it's sort of retains some of its magnetism. Now this is what I find interesting, if I get one of my strong neodymium magnets out of a microwave oven, put it close, it just falls right off. And now it's not magnetic anymore. So you can repeat this as many times as you like. still work. I've left that there for up to four days and it won't fall off by itself. See it's not falling off now. And the funny thing is is that if the link hasn't been broken this magnet won't make it fall off either. I break it once and put it back. He's gone. Anyway, I'll just give you a closer look at the um, coil here. As you can see, it's just a bit of alkathene pipe that I've split down the edge and then wound a whole lot of uh, copper wire onto that uh, myself and my son unwound off here. 